I would say the top five most impactful deaths. Let's that's not this the subject. Don't loop your lips up around. Oh, you a spicy. Come on. We gonna say Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael Jackson. No, 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 no. Oh. Kobe Bryant. Mm. I'm gonna just say something, man. Kobe got to be in front of Michael Jackson mm. because we don't know how Michael Jackson went. Yeah, and there was a child involved. It was a lot, man. That was right. it was deep. Mm-hmm. That was deep. So we're gonna say Kobe Bryant. I'm gonna say Nipsey Hussle. Okay. After that. Only because the way Nipsey went out and the age that Nipsey went out at. Michael Jackson. Just because he was uh the biggest icon of the icon. What about Whitney? Whitney Houston. That's big. What about Muhammad Ali? Legend. That's I mean because, that's big. Because it was parades in Kentucky. What bro. about Freddie Mercury? From Queen? Nah, for me, not nah, seriously. Kurt Cobain, bro. That was crazy, but Freddie that's, Mer- cr- that's a crazy joint. What like, about Freddie Mercury from Queen? We listen, all the child. What's your per- but what Wait, Freddie Mercury died of AIDS, didn't yeah, he? He died of AIDS, listen, man. Listen, Gil. Easy E. AIDS. Get, yeah, Gil. So H-I-B. don't try no shit, Gil. What about you, yo, personally? Who you who who impacted you if you said if it was a person? If the, the, the most impactful death to me. I don't even want to count Nipsey because that's your no, real homie. No, 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 no. It's only it's only, it's only a couple celebrities. Let me just be honest. It's only a couple celebrities that passed, and I actually shed tears. Nipsey was a friend of mine. Right, that's different. So that 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 touch close to home. When Tupac Shakur was murdered, it was me and my homie Ricky together riding in North Philly in a powdered blue. Some type of old car. Mm-hmm. When we when that shit came across the radio that Tupac Shakur was shot and lost and we just both cried. Like Man. and it was crazy because we really cried like we knew the nigga. That's how it was for me for like Aaliyah. We, like, Aaliyah. Like, like 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 I was banging on the dashboard like, damn these niggas killed Pac. Like and that was like that was like a that was like a shout out to Pac to how how much his music touched us as as youngins. You know what I'm saying? That we felt like we knew him. You know what I'm saying? When I was growing up, the artists and the rappers that we that I connected to was the rappers. I felt like I knew them. Like that's what I say all the time. I you know it was connected to me when Pac died. I, you know it was crazy. It was just, just no BS. I just finished robbing like a CVS. I was coming out of a CVS. I robbed it and I jumped in the car with you know what I mean with with a with an OG of mine and we driving and it was on the radio. What was his name? Well, OG. I'm not. I'm not saying my name. Say your rat. I'm not saying no names, right. but it was like I literally just like. Like moments before that it came across Pi 99 on the radio, I was in uh, you know in Philadelphia in the North Philly section robbing the CV. Like it was just crazy. Yeah. Coming out of it, and I jumped in the car. I'm like, what? And they just start playing all Pac music. I was like, yeah. If it, that no, music, that music man. hit different, man. Prodigy Mob Deep is my number one, man. Number one in Aaliyah. Aaliyah was just super yeah. crazy, bro. Ali- Damn. Yeah. Shout out to Aaliyah. R. You had you had left Aaliyah. eye yeah. playing. Like it was just like, yo, it's crazy, man. Right, and I think I think a lot of these times when they hit you for that moment, you feel like, man, I gotta appreciate life more. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of times we, right. we 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 take like like a lot of people take for granted like life. Like you know, you, you know why though? Not to cut you off because regular nine to five people look at somebody like Kobe Bryant who has all the money and. They don't expect somebody like Kobe Bryant to die. He's immortal to them. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? You can't die when you so, got a lot of money. Steve Jobs so, died. So when when like something like that anything. happens, it's it's almost like it almost like the normal the regular person who just got the nine to five. It really puts shit into perspective because it's like holy shit. If Kobe Bryant could go out like that, I would definitely right. fucking die. Yeah, I'm paying like, attention on the road. Like, I'm putting his phone away. I'm driving oh, safe. I'm, oh shit! Let me let me. I was beefing with my uncle and my mom and my brothers and my cousins. Man, life too short. Man, Kobe Bryant just died at 41, 42. 
God damn. Cuz, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I love up. you, man. Word because, it, it, you know, it's like, because people look at people with money as though they ain't dying young because they got enough money to get rid of all the diseases. They can get rid of anything. They can get rid of the, the but in the actuality, man, when it's your time to go, it's your time to go. That's just the reality of this shit. And nothing can save you. No money, no, no, no doctors. No, when it's your time to go, it's your time to go. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, man, uh, I would probably say the top five most impactful deaths of my living had to be Kobe Bryant, Tupac Shakur, Michael Jackson, Biggie Smalls. I got to go with six. Muhammad Ali and Nipsey Hussle. <laughs> and shout out to Mike. Shout out to John Singleton. Yeah. Shout out to Heath Ledger, yeah. Prince, Whitney Houston, everybody, Aaliyah. We named a lot of people. One of my legends. And, I, and, 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 and to all my Caucasian people that's listening, you know, you got to understand that I grew up in a in a in an urban atmosphere, so a lot of the people who was most impactful to me are going to be black. Uh, shout out to uh, somebody that was very important to me personally. Uh, You're like Aaron. him, Freddie Mercury. Was it? He was white. Yeah, Freddie Mercury, yeah. a queen. He was a legend. All right, you know, him and uh, Freddie uh, had a lot of things in common. Like, so. like uh, also, uh, don't don't be <laughs> your lips still shining. Uh, also. I want to give a shout out to somebody special, you know, somebody that really had an impact on my journey as I travel through life now. Anthony Bourdain. Oh, I thought you were about peace. to say Karate Earl. No, 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 he, no, 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 he no, was. No. That was no, coming. That was, no, it was coming. Oh, That's Earl, coming. Hold up. Man. Anthony, Come on. Anthony, what, Anthony, Anthony, Anthony Bourdain, right? Legendary. Uh, parts unknown, no reservations. The layover had three shows. He, you know, he was on drugs, came back, had all these shows, traveled the world, documented it. You know, introduce people to different cultures. I used to watch this guy in prison religiously, and I said, when I get out, I'm gonna meet him. I never got a chance to meet Anthony. You know, uh, first of all, his I'm pretty sure his name wasn't Anthony, Anthony. with the F. It was Anthony, but it's cool. Anthony, whatever. Okay. And uh, I just, you know, he was a legend to his family. Uh, you know, if you you can hear this man, he was, you know, somebody I got some game from. Just traveling and introducing people to information because that's what he did, and you know, he taught me that. But uh. The biggest impact in my life from a on a celebrity standpoint of a person dying is Karate Earl, uh, world renowned uh, mixed martial arts grandmaster, black belt, neighborhood kung fu master. Mm. He was all like he was everything that you could think of of a black karate a black karate uh, man in the ghetto. Protect and a, serve. He, he was, was a, a neighborhood trick. Stop. He used to spend all his veterans' money on pussy. Don't forget, if you're going to shout you him out, shout that him was out Earl. That was Earl. Was in. Earl, uh, Earl jumped out of ah, me. Earl, ju yeah. Earl jumped out of me. You see, Earl jumped out of me in emotional mood. Don't say Earl jumped out of you. Oh, my God. Yeah, I felt it. Earl, no. The energy of Earl. No. <laughs> no. That was the energy of Earl. No, no. Don't make him jump out of me. I'm just saying you. that was the energy of Earl. <laughs> it always go back to Earl touching you at the park that day, <laughs> yeah. dog. Because like. to jump out of you, you got to jump in you. And it's right. Like, no. He said my yeah. nigga jump out you that ain't jump in you. Um, jump with Jamal. <laughs> jump with Jamal. <laughs> so go ahead, bro. That was the energy of Earl. It was like, uh, I just want to say that Earl, man, you was everything, man. He was like my greatest, you know, you know I me, mean? but like celebrity wise, it's like that Kobe thing really messed me up because, you know, um, it wasn't just Kobe. It was a whole, it was right. friends, family, kids. Man. And then the Nipsey thing, just seeing it happen, it was just like, that shit fuck, you know, it mess you up because you know this, brother. You know, I, I'm going to just say this. I travel in a world where there was a lot of entertainers involved. And uh, not many times you can walk inside a room, you know, because I do my thing. You know, people might know me from social media, but I'm never expecting people to know me. Um, and, with, and with Nipsey, it was like, it was just super love. And it was crazy, you know, to be able to walk in a room and you've never been in a room with somebody First time when they, somebody like, you know, him, because I listened to Nipsey Music, so I was already tuned in. And it's like, he like, damn, Wilo, what's up? That's like major, you know, because a lot of these rappers and quote unquote celebrities, they used to people kissing their ass all the time. They want somebody to honor them all. Oh, you know, but it's some, I will say it's some selective artists out there that's real solid people. And I don't want to put no frauds out there, people that be, you know, 
really be scared when you come around and all put this goofy shit. Put them out there. Shit. No. Be scared. Motherfuckers right, be scared. All right, whisper it to me so I'll put them out there. No. Be scared when you come around. You be like, damn, I ain't he even doing a bitch. I'm like, not even, no, I'm like, not even going to do that. That's where we live, sorry, truth. To tell it to me, I'm going to put them out there. You didn't say shit. Uh, <laughs> Gilly. <laughs> You, you want to fucking scared oh, when I'm you around. Nut ass nigga. You get scared, you, you fake ass rapper. Nut ass nigga. You scared eight time cash money affiliates come around. <laughs> fucking nut. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs>